many emails do you receive every day? How many junk content do you receive every single day in your mailbox? God knows, right? Every single website that you log on to today now requires you to enter your email address so that they can send you all their marketing stuff and it is absolutely tiring. I am sure that you agree with me because I receive so much rubbish content every single day. Well, in today's video, I am here to share some crucial insights as to how you go about in creating your email marketing campaign without spamming your clients without being a nuisance to your clients. Because at the end of the day, you are here to give a service to your clients. If you're so hungry, if you are so eager to go out there and chase people and spamming people and annoying people, then you know you're not going to begin gaining any favors because people will mark you as spam. And what happens? your emails will reach fewer and fewer people every time you send them. So listen up to this video and watch it till the end because there is some crucial information that I'm going to be sharing with you that's going to stop you from getting your emails into the junk folder of your clients and right in the top of their mailbox. If we haven't met before, my name is Anita Hori. I am a business coach, a second generation Pilates instructor and a teacher trainer, and I am here to serve you. I've been in this industry for over two decades, in business for over three decades, so I guess I've got a thing or two to share with you. You know, building an email list is not just a trend. It's a Pilates powerhouse. So you better get going and get your email list started. So let me share something about building an email list. Building an email list is not going to be you chasing people on social media, asking them for their email addresses so that you can send something to them and then you'll add them to your MailChimp account and start shooting a ton of emails to them that are not voluntary, that are not required, that are not requested from you. That's not the ethical way of building an email list. And many people do it this way and their emails end up in the spam mail of their clients. Not only that, they get reports, they get reported because they haven't been given permission to be sending emails to their prospects. How many emails do you receive that you haven't requested? How many emails do you see that you haven't subscribed to? So building an email list from this form of reaching out to people is really going to send you down the rabbit hole. What's a better way of building an email list is actually having something on your website, having a subscription box on your website for people to subscribe to your emails from your website. So guys, if you haven't created a website, you now know why you should be building your own website. Your website is like your shop front and you have to make sure that people know how to contact you from your shop front. And if they wanna know a little bit more about what you're doing and how you can help them, then give them a way for them to find out. Put a subscription box in your website, then they'll be able to be added to your email list Added to your MailChimp account or whatever other form of mail delivery system you've got and there you are there you have it Bob's your uncle you are not going to be seen as spam anymore now let's dive straight into checking emails did you know that research shows that a typical person looks at their emails 15 times a day yes 15 times a day so you know that at one point if you do send emails to your clients they are going to see it but are they going to read it? So why should you, as a Pilates instructor and business owner, be looking out to sending emails to your target audience and hoping that these emails are read and somebody someday will catch the bait? Firstly, emails are personal. It's like having a direct conversation with your client. No algorithms involved. So you're not relying on whether Facebook has posted your post or whether your target client has seen your content whether it's whatever social media you've chosen, it is a direct link. It's like you calling your client and getting them involved in your daily life, keeping them updated with what's going on in your life. And that's why it's so important that you don't send out jargon, you don't send out rubbish, you don't send out stuff that is not going to be interesting for your clients. Secondly, 
Emails are intentional. Your clients have chosen to be receptive to your emails. So that's going to make them more willing to listen from you, to hear from you, to read your emails, to find out more about what's going on. That's why I've said to you earlier on, there's no point of you just sending junk mail to people who have not subscribed to your email list. This is super important that you understand. Thirdly, your email list is a valuable asset. Your email is yours. It's not owned by anybody else and it's not influenced by any other external changes. As I mentioned, there's no algorithms, there's no paid promotions, there's no reason why your clients are not going to receive the message that you're trying to send to them because you are going direct to the client, you are communicating direct to the client and not hoping, fingers crossed, on the off chance that that client is going to listen to you. Your clients choose to subscribe to you. You have a direct line, you have a direct link to them. And it's a way that you are communicating with them because they chose to hear from you and not because you're forcing them to listen to you or to watch your videos or to look at your content or to even read your messenger messages or Instagram messages. This is entirely yours, so make the most of it. Fourth, emails build trust. It allows your clients to connect with you. It allows them to ask you questions and it allows you to have an open conversation with them. They will get to know you better. They will get to know, like, and trust you. And trust leads to loyalty. And fifth, you can reach your subscribers for free, for free guys. You know that people check their emails daily. So you have got open communication with your clients every single day and it's not costing you anything. And the most important thing to understand here is also that timing is everything. So if you're there in their lives every day, or if you're there in their lives every week, they're seeing that communication with you. They're starting to see that relationship with you and they're communicating with you. And if they have any queries and if they've got any questions, it's an open system that you've got with them. And some of you would say to me, hang on a minute, but I prefer social media as my channel. I don't even have an email list or I don't even have a website. I don't even think this is worth it. I'm just gonna rely on social media. You know that social media is an external platform. You own nothing of it. Anytime social media can be pulled down and your client list can go anywhere they like because you have no contact with them. Now also understand that research shows that buyers are three times more likely to buy from an email they receive rather than seeing something on social media. This is researched. This isn't just something that I've picked up from the air. So you know that if you have got those clients on an email list, you're more than likely to create a sale from them. And if they are already clients, you are more than likely to upsell to them. So you'll be selling something extra to them. So this is something that you really need to consider if you haven't got a website and if you haven't got an email list. And finally, it's not enough just communicating with your clients on a daily, weekly, monthly basis by email. You need to give them a reason to call to action. What does that mean? It means a reason for them to buy from you or to take a service from you. Whatever that might be, you need to have a call to action button. So in every single email that you send to your clients, make sure that they have an opportunity to buy something from you. And it doesn't necessarily mean that they're going to buy a high ticket program from you, but whatever that might be, get them to a link to be able to purchase something, subscribe to something from you, take up your sessions, maybe buy some kind of apparel from you, but whatever it is, you have a CTA button in your emails. I hope this content has been very valuable for you. And if you need more advice on how to create your email list, how to increase your client base, how to improve your branding, and you want to grow your Pilates business, guys, I'm your girl. I've been in the Pilates industry for two decades, in business for three decades, and I know a thing or two about running a business. If you want to have a no obligation discovery chat with me so we can start talking about 
how I can help you. Maybe there's a few points in your business that you're stuck with and you don't know who you can talk to, then go ahead, click on the link below. You're going to see a link to get onto my website. We'll get a 30 minute call. We'll discuss a little bit more how I can help you. And if I cannot help you, I promise you, I will refer you to somebody who will. So guys, if you did like the video, do hit the like, subscribe, and don't forget to hit the bell to get notified every time I upload a video online. Until my next video, goodbye for now.